In the earlier part of this course, I told you that a website is just a folder containing a bunch of web pages. Now you know how to make a web page, you know how to use tables and add text and also insert images. But hyperlinks are important because they allow you to go from one page, web page to another. And that could either be on the one website or you could direct them to an outside website by providing a hyperlink. So here's an example. You've seen links like this before where you see blue text underlined and if I were to click on this it would take me to rapid4x.com because that's what the link says. And hyperlinks can also take another form. Let me show you this. As the page loads, we can see here that right here is a hyperlink, there's another hyperlink, there's another hyperlink. Usually blue text that's underlined is usually a hyperlink. Hyperlinks are also called links, so here you'll see that I have generically just calling them links. So if I say link, I mean hyperlink. Links are used to navigate between web pages. Now the links can navigate web pages within the same website, so it's a way of linking all the different web pages from one website together, but they can also be used to link one web page to a web page on another website, and I'll show you how to do that in a few minutes. Now here's a little tip for you. Links should always be blue and underlined. <clears throat> Sometimes you'll see people trying to get fancy, and they will try to underline something red and make a hyperlink red, or they'll try to make a hyperlink bl uh, black, or <clears throat> excuse me, some other color, but hyperlinks should always be blue because that's the way people are conditioned to seeing hyperlinks. They're looking for something blue and they know if you click on something that's blue and underlined then something else is going to pop open. So you should reserve the blue underlined text for your hyperlinks and you should never underline anything blue if it's not a hyperlink. So there's two things to keep in mind here. Only make your hyperlinks blue and don't use blue and underline when you're writing a web page if it's not a hyperlink because people will start to click on that link and if it's not a link but it looks like one then they're going to say oh on this website then blue underline stuff isn't the link so they won't click on the links that you want them to. So if you want people to click on a link make it blue and underlined and don't try to use any other colors for hyperlinks. I've tested this and I know that what I'm saying is correct and there's other people that I've talked to about this and just reserve blue underline for your hyperlinks and don't try to get fancy with it. People already understand that blue underline is a hyperlink and don't try to reinvent that. Now hyperlinks are usually text but images can also be hyperlinked to other pages. Let me show you this rapid 4x page again. My computer's going slow because I have a lot of programs running right now. And this image here is a hyperlink. And how you tell that is look down in this corner. And when I put my cursor over the image in the upper right hand corner, you'll see that it links to rapid4x.com forward slash mission dot shtml. So just so you can see it again, look right here when I put my cursor up here. Now my cursor's up on this image and you can look in where, my, where that little hand is, you can see our mission, provide the best quality and most complete Forex training program at the lowest price so that all may have access to this life-changing opportunity. In the lower left-hand corner of the screen, you will see that it says rapidforex.com forward slash mission dot shtml. Now let me click this link and it takes me to our mission page. So you can see an example of where we used an image as a hyperlink. So by clicking on a picture, it sent them to another page. And then here's a hyperlink and it takes people to another page. And you'll see at the bottom of each of our pages we have the same menu that allows people to go to different pages with, on the Rapid 4x website. So you use hyperlinks at, on your pages as menus. You can also have a side menu like we have here, but we also have links within the body of the web page when we want them to go to other places. So here are packages. We have different links within the web copy. So images can also be hyperlinks, and if you've ever clicked on a banner ad on a website, like a flashing picture that 
tells you to click here for a chance to win a million dollars or you know for a chance to enter a free contest when you click on that image and go to another website that's a hyperlink that you're clicking on links can also be used to direct someone from one part of a page to another part of the same page this is done by anchor tags and let me open that rapid forex web page again and I'll show you an example of where we use this on our site and at the bottom of the page on our FAQ you'll see that we have questions here so if somebody looks at this and says are you really 30 years old and working from home they can click on that and they go right to the answer which is here but that's on the same web page see if I scroll all the way up it goes back to that question and if I scroll down I can find the answer so all the answers are on the same page but from the top we allow people to click on their question and it takes them right to their questions answer and if that person wants to go back to the menu they can go back to the top so hyperlinks are also very valuable to link from one part of a page to another and if we wanted to link to a part on the page where this would come up top then we could just copy this link and we could send it to somebody and when they came to this page they would come to it right here so you can use it to link to a specific point on a certain page or you can use it to link from one part of a page to another part of a page and that is something that a lot of people aren't aware of when dealing with hyperlinks that they can use uh, this is called anchor tags so by anchoring to a certain part on that page you're then able to link to it